Unsupervised machine learning. Why unsupervised? Because we do not provide a data set with labels. We do not have labels in this case and we, we use different techniques called in this case unsupervised machine learning because we are not supervising the learning uh, and to get some new insights, to get some patterns on top of that data. Let's use two different examples. In the right side, what we have, it's a kind of cluster. We, we, we have a bunch of data and we want to divide it in segments, in clusters. And this kind of technique, clustering, is used a lot to define, for example, if, if you have customer segments. You, you want to find a way, a different way to divide your customer set, uh, not only by gender, age or things like that. Try to find new patterns, new ways that you can divide your customer because they buy uh, together the same kind of product because they they have the same kind of uh, of taste uh, it doesn't matter and you use this kind of technique to learn the different kind of segments the different kind of clusters the second technique here is, is anomaly detection if you have normal transactions in credit card for example but if some of these transactions is now completely different you can use this kind of technique anomaly detection to find uh, what kind of new transaction is this anomaly because he's not uh, quite the same as the, 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 the majority of the data that you have or it's no it's 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 normal it's not a, a problem you can go forward with a transaction those are examples of unsupervised machine learning and the idea of unsupervised machine learning is that you don't know exactly what you want to, to, to get in your data. You want to find new patterns, new insights, and in this case you use this kind of machine learning.